thank you for your continued support. Weathering ways of 1.4 we with the Knights just knocked around the corner. It's time for another installment of the developer message. In this update, we're adding new gameplay elements, exciting features, and optimized to enhance your experience. What the hell is this? My nigga, what is this? What wait, what is this fucking triple team ass? cinematic right what is this wait a minute dream league is a new combat mechanism that will introduce in the main event enhances the synergy between your resonators allowing them to unlock their true potential together this is a team attack when certain um conditions align during combat dream link will uh, activate dramatically and ham amplifying your yo no wait no 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 guys we can we can do this with the powerpuff girls Oh my god, no. We can do this with the Powerpuff Girls. The whole meme of the Powerpuff... If we can do this, bro. If we can do this with the Powerpuff Girls team. Bro. Yo. 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 Oh my. Yo, I have ideas. If we can do this with any kind of team comp. Yo. Yo. Oh my lord. This is gonna be so... <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. If we can do this cinematic with any team comp, we are actually fucking cooking. I'm doing this with Encore. Bro, I'm gonna be doing this with fucking Omcore, Marina, and you. I have to see this. This has to be fucking dope. This is you have to use this with every character, please. And the main story, Overdrive Com. Wait, what? That's two combats. In the main event, you can pick up White Cat blessings to enter the elusive state that increases your movement speed. Lumi, a resonator, will make her debut of a new version, a similar ability. When certain requirements are met, instead of dodging, Lumi dashes to get out of harm's way. And is capable of attacking enemies while moving at high speed. These two gameplay mechanics will be available in the main event. And once the main event concludes, it will be added as a permanent event where the same gameplay mechanisms will still be available. Oh, yo, no FOMO. No FOMO. Mm -hmm. No FOMO. No FOMO. We're eating, boys. We're eating. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fucking good. We're eating. No FOMO. No FOMO. Let's go. Weapon cosmetics. Holy shit, guys. It's over. Oh, it's over. Weapon cosmetics. It's over. Weapon projections. This feature will let you transform your appearance of your weapons without affecting their stats, allowing you to create the look that you entirely your own. Oh, it's over. Additionally, we're adding transparent weapon projections to all five star weapons. Transparent weapon projections turn your equipped weapon com completely or partially invisible. We hope these new features will let you enjoy even more personality to your resonated look whether you start exploring or capturing photos oh it's over oh it's over wrap it up nope wrap it up wrap wrap it up it's time it's time leveling related optimization double rewards and step-by-step -step echo upgrade to enhance your long-term game experience Introduce a series of re leveling related optimizations part of an ongoing project. In this update, we will let you be able to fast travel directly to the location, task fields, and bosses on the map. Thank God. Initially, we'll have an option to speed the double wave plates to earn. Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's crazy. So you're telling me I can do one run and then I can double that run? And forgery, simulation, and... Yo, farming is going to be so much easier in this game, dude. I don't give a fuck what people say. Farming is about to be the most fastest shit ever. Oh, oh, so that's how you clear dailies faster. We're about to be clearing dailies faster. Holy shit. But last but not least, you can convertly upgrade an echo to the exact levels through the auto select settings. We hope this change improve. God, yes. Fucking God, yes. No cap. Yes. Fuck, Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, so fucking good. That's so fucking good.
interface optimization waypoint info pop-up echo info pop-up and tower versus the interfaces adjustments starting from this whenever you log in you receive a pop-up display the amount of waypoints and crystals you own oh thank god display information of the nearly echo will be on the main stat sub stat oh thank god bro yes oh the current adjusting your team lineup in tower versus requires leaving and re-entering which we know interrupts the gaming experience yes to improve this optimized interface in the upcoming version will allow you to view and adjust your team directly within tower apart from the above most observation in a pipeline along with other gameplay elements and features please stay tuned oh my god fucking god dude we're so fucking in it dude holy shit bro can't leave this fucking game and mother i feel bad for motherfuckers who left this game early on and said this shit was gonna be ass this shit is not ass i would not do, do you think i'm see hold on i'm getting too out of myself because i i'm really about to say this right now i'm saying this right now again i wish i could see this shit could you look bro team attacks would be so cool to see in other open worlds there's a specific open world called Genshin Impact that would have been cool but this my nigga and if this is so free because it looks like it's free it looks like you can literally do this with any character and if you can oh shit I'm about to be yo you don't understand how it's in the main event too. You don't understand how like I'm gonna be in this doing with doing this with different teams because I just want to see this. I all I want to see is just the this. This is so fucking cool. It's insane. You don't understand how cool that shit looks. And the fact that it's gonna be permanent and you can do this with more characters as time progresses, it's gonna look so fucking cool. And then available mechanisms will be... No, not that. Not that. Then the elusive sprint. To where you can literally run into enemies and they do damage. And Yumi... No, not Yumi. Fuck. Lumi. Damn, I said Yumi. Uh, Lumi is going to have this mechanic too. Where she dashes and does damage. It's going to be so fucking great, dude. Holy shit. And weapon. And the weapon skins. Oh my lord. Appearance without affecting, yeah. Ooh, shit. But this right here, they're act because they're optimizing the right fucking things. They're actually optimizing the right things. So I can see, oh yeah, boom. Now I can actually see that. That's actually pretty dope. I like that. No, this is great. Oh no, this is really good. This was, these are the uh, mini optimizations like this was not something I was expecting at all. Not expecting that, but this, the biggest ones, the literally the biggest things in my opinion is first off cosmetics. So we know this is coming. We, we know cosmetics are coming. That means skins are coming. Next patch. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for 2.0. We're getting skins in 2.0. Remember that. Just remember, they're coming. They are coming. If so we're getting weapon shit, we are getting this. We are getting skins in 2.0. And this right here, this is the biggest shit ever right here, bro. This is this right here is the biggest, biggest change ever. The fact it's not like quick. It's not um. It's not like a quick button to where you can just do one and then clear it all. This is like double rewards, but it's not double rewards. You know what I mean? It's not like the double reward, the limited time double rewards offense. This is you do one battle and you can either click claim twice or click claim once. You click claim twice, boom, you'll get all the shit that you need. You click claim once, you do once. This makes grinding so much faster. Then, obviously, the capping right here, where you can level cap because it can be annoying. 
sometimes where you have to use a whole bunch of shit and then boom you just use too many materials by accident then obviously we have the mini things then tower adversity where you get to swap your teams around within the tower there is just i all i see is a lot of good and i can't wait to use this this is my favorite mechanic in the game this is gonna be one of my this is my favorite mechanic in the game i don't care only reason why because of the splat the it looks so cool it, it looks so cool. It, lit it legit looks like your team is about to fucking power up and whoop ass. Yeah, I'm ready. I I'm just ready for this. I'm 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 wholeheartedly ready. I'm ready for 1.4. I'm I'm getting Yanagi. <laughs> I feel so bad for ZZZ man. Like granted, granted, I love ZZZ. Don't 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 get it don't get it twisted. I love ZZZ. I enjoy it. But I Oh, I don't <laughs> I'll have to see. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got some fun, my little speech. I know that it's here, I can sense it in my